What's up, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. We are here with the Room Room Saloon Seasonal Championship. That was <laughs> a little bit of a tongue breaker because I was reading Super Saloons and I wanted to say Seasonal Championship. Anyway, we need to use a Super Saloon car in VA class, and there is a ton of available cars in the Super Saloon class, so... I was going for this one, the BMW M4 Coupe from 2014. The tuning share code is in the description, but as you can already see, especially like the Audis, the BMWs, there is a ton of cars, Mercedes also, a ton of cars available that you could pick. All of them fine to do the job. I've chosen one of my personal favorites, and I hope we will do well with this one. As last week, I will leave the breaks between races in because the loading times are much reduced from what I was used to and I kind of want to use that time to continue talking without having to focus on the race. That's always nice. Obviously, the focus, as always, is primarily a lot of cars I could photograph, but I don't really want to take the time here to do it. <clears throat> the focus is primarily on making use of the fast corners, and in this case, of the slow corner where they are well, they were too wide, I made it three wide. And here, making use of these fast corners by choosing that tight line and cutting the checkpoints that is also a method that always works pretty well cutting checkpoints because the AI usually drives within the flags and you can cut them which can narrow your racing line now we have a bit of a duel going on here and we choose a much tighter line and I wanted to close that gap get right in front of him a little bit of a bump here it wasn't ideal, I wanted to avoid it, I wanted to cut and go right in front of him, but we were a little early. Which happens, you know. A minor bump is... have to worry about that. was a little late on the brakes, which is another bump, this time into the wall, which I don't like very much. But hey, here we can cut that checkpoint again, drive into the flag a little bit. Getting a better line, that's another one driving into the flag. Now obviously there is a certain risk associated with driving into the flags. Because that obviously opens the risk up for missing a flag. That's a terrible corner. Here this one also you can just drive through the flag, not drive around it, that shortens it, this can shorten the corner. So I'm overdoing it a little bit to showcase it. You don't need to drive as aggressively through all of the flags. It's perfectly fine to drive here like this around the flag. Here, however, you you can take advantage of driving through the flags regularly. Is what I'm trying to sell as a point here. And it's certainly not a bad idea to make use of it, especially for overtaking when you are looking for a gap. There is usually one right where the flag is. And here we are braking, but not as hard as the braking line suggests. But this is a very comfortable win here for us. And round one. Oh, we get a wheel spin. That's totally what I need. And quickly send that out as gift. There we go. Don't really see the point in selling those. What I also started doing last week is the car for the seasonal, for the for weekly Forza fun thing, where you need to do the four tasks. When you need a car there, and I have a duplicate of it or multiple of them. I'm selling them. 
so bad. People have it. I think that's a that's a pretty good idea to get people the cars that they need. And then I just hope that people can make good use of it. Because like a lot of the times it's cars that are pretty expensive. Obviously not, not all times, but sometimes they are pretty expensive. This week you can get the 4 GT in one of the championships. And oftentimes lately, or Horizon 5 at least, it has been the case that the reward cars are when used for different kind of races. I'll quickly take a picture here. Just wanted to ma like getting four of them for someone who just wants to put the numbers up. It's certainly a, a chance that you want to take. And here we're just driving past everyone, accelerating, 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 driving past. I don't remember a photo we could take, but for one, I'm not going to make you wait for the race to continue. And here again, cutting the checkpoint, going into the lead. Obviously risky, because if you miss the checkpoint, you're done. But certainly a, worth, uh, a risk worth taking here. Because the risk is not that big, and the reward was easily going into first place. Plus, driving at least a little bit risky is always a little bit more fun. I mean, here as well, we barely hit that, that flag, so you really want to be careful with that. Here as well, barely hit it, but that allowed us to full throttle through the sequence here. And we're already at 60%, so it's a pretty good one as well, I would think. Yeah, we're going a little bit wide here. That. Too late on the brakes. Man. Here as well, just go straight through through the checkpoint. Carry as much speed as you can. So in these races, you don't really have the fast corners to make use of, but you have checkpoints to make use of. So it's just certain certain things that that you can make a use of, especially to overtake again, because you have a gap there. But, to be fair, it's also useful in a, a regular sense when you just want to carry a little more speed through and not slow down too much. So for these two purposes, cutting those flags is, is really a useful thing to be wary of and to, to keep in mind when you deem it applicable. Here we are now at... Two way, two wins in three, in two races. Oh. A bit of confusion here right now. Yeah, the design is cool. So that is pretty good. That gives us another win, and now we have one remaining. This one right here. Not my favorite, but it's okay. Certainly one of my favorite cars in the game. Well, a very, very pretty one. I I was thinking about the design that I choose, but it's a, in my opinion, it's a pretty cool one. Because it, it has a little element to it, but it's still not overdone. It has a little color here and a little color there, but it's all very, very simple. 
just quickly do this again. And here we try to get the overtakes early because it's always better when you can spend the majority of the race working with the lead plus with cutting the checkpoints. You can actually get ahead of them very quickly here at the start of the race because the sequence is just so good for you and so bad for the AI. And you can really work with that and get all these overtakes out of the way ASAP. <coughs> Obviously, since it's a circuit race, you have the sequence three times. If you can't get it the first time and you can't really get overtakes here, you can just do it again. And especially in this sequence, it's so easy to catch up because you can cut this checkpoint, overtake, and really do it with, with all of these corners, especially that sequence where it goes uh, right here and then to the left and then to the right you will really catch up to them that is probably your best shot in this somewhat fast right hander as well you, you see how much separation we gained here in that sequence and that should be your strength in going through that and the AI is not very good at doing that so this is really where you can strike the rest of the race even if you're good at that, the AI is also pretty decent at the rest of the track, but that starting sequence, the AI is so bad at it. And you can really make some real good use of that. You can see here as well. Especially this upcoming sequence, because you can just full throttle through, and as you can see by the braking line, the game really suggests to slow down hard this corner as well and then uh, the next one as well and then the sequence really ends and if you don't lead by here it's going to be a lot more difficult in this corner obviously you can cut the checkpoint this one is a little tougher because you have all of the rocks and they're going to slow you down so cutting that checkpoint is advised that one as well this one yeah you can cut it but it's not going to lead to much of an advantage so really the, the opportunities to create an easy overtake don't really present themselves that way and kind of just focus her to the end of the race. That's my bad. But that nets us another victory and 60 points. There we go. That's 60 points. And there is the Ferrari, which is which can be used in the championship that I have posted earlier. So you can use that and you can gain it here. So this is a little bit of a thing that I want to work on is just decide which cars to use. Because sometimes if you can win it in a different championship, maybe I will suggest these cars instead of the ones that can be bought at the auto shop. So that is certainly something I can consider but i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching and until next time farewell